Hi Libra, getting ready to do your reading now. Let's uh, hop in here and see what's going on for you. I'm going I'm to put this deck aside because it keeps talking the same cards. And I think it needs a rest. So we're going to start with you. I don't know if you noticed, I start with Libra when I do my sets, not Aries. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know how that started, but... <clears throat> All right. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages for the incoming week for Libra? You have a fork in the road. A decision is going to have to be made. This could be as simple as, you know, if you're going to make a change to your diet or you want to buy a new car or you want to, you know, it, I'm getting like just a decision, changing something. It does not have to be, you know, something huge. It doesn't mean you have to move. It doesn't mean you have to, you know, but there's going to be a decision here. I'm going to clarify it right now. And if you notice the sign, there's actually four, er maybe even five, but um, there's at least three, I think that's in the fourth. So you have more than just two decisions. It's not just like yes or no. It could be, um, for some reason, I guess someone who may start like a keto diet or paleo or something. I'm getting someone else who's thinking about, well, okay, I want to purchase a new car, and so i got to research, you know, what's mine is worth and how much a new one is versus a you, you know. I'm kind of getting, I also get someone who is, um, it could be like change, there's something like that, something like about your wardrobe or something. Uh, yes, it could be your career, your school. You have a lot of options though. I knew they weren't going to be specific, but you have the wisdom. This guy, this I guess is a deer, um, llama. I don't know what this is with the horns, but it has an owl on its back, meaning it has the wisdom. And I think there's a star in its antlers. Anyways, you have the wisdom to make this decision. You can make this choice. One more. Can you give any advice? Uh, so you might want to narrow it down to just two things. And then, um, yeah, manifest that. So I feel like someone may be procrastinating because you don't want to make the wrong choice. And I get, again, you know, like you'll have the information you need to make the right choice. Okay. Shoot. I kind of threw that out. I'm trying to put them. I was told just now to, to grab this deck. <clears throat> the one that came flying out was overwhelm and plenty overflow and I kind of read this as like the ace of cups type of energy in this deck what does Libra need to know right now what is their messages so oh go with the authentic self what is it that you really want so you could be saying you know what I really want this car but I know like I should buy that one or like you know you know go with your heart go with what you really want be different be unique don't just blend in, stand out. Or if you would rather blend in, blend. I mean, do what your authentic self wants to do. Also, you have a new beginning here. I kind of get like this is exciting. You're coming to the end of the year. You got options uh, that you could, you know, maybe they're not right in front of you yet, but you do have options. And then you have a sky bridge. There's a possibility also for a union. Okay, this deck is all different ways. All right, I'm going to put that here. So this could mean, you know, maybe some of you really want to be in a relationship. Maybe you really want to date new people or, you know, do something different. And I kind of feel like there's influences around you who are like, oh, you shouldn't need to do that or do, you know, you know what I mean? Like, well, that's not practical or, you know, oh, don't date, you'll get your heart broken or something. I just feel like that's what I'm seeing here. What does Libra need to know? You're excited. You're going to have an opportunity here, Libra, where you're excited and you're happy. It could be dating three cups. It doesn't have to be. Towers in the hidden position. And we have the Knight of Swords. I get like you charging ahead. Under the deck is the Hangman. Don't be surprised to have some sort of epiphany this week or new idea or seeing something differently. This is actually a really good reading for you because there's something here about having something new being offered to you, making this decision. The nine of coins just fell out in my lap. <clears throat> this could be more money coming to you. What is this tower in the hidden position? What is this tower? Love. That's so funny because I was literally thinking, okay, this set, I'm going to do more spiritual messages. I'm going to try to do more money or work messages for each sign. Um, I'm going to, you know, and then here we are right here at love. And wow, this is pretty cool. Ace of Wands and the Tower. What is this world energy? Someone else is. What is this energy here? The Knight of Wands. 
The Hanged Man, the Page of Cups. Justice. I get somebody, you are like someone's falling in love with you. Somebody is coming down. How do I say this? Because I can, I can feel the energy. Maybe someone else is taking off a mask. Maybe someone else who's like very um, playful and fun and you like this person's energy, but this person, it's almost like they, you stop this person in their tracks and they look at you and it's like they are, they are smitten. They love at first sight. This could be a past life soulmate connection. Uh, maybe why all of a sudden, because it's like this, this person is running around. I don't get they're a player at this point. Um, I don't think that's just showing up here reading at all. I think Nine of Wands are just busy. Or you're busy, you know, just running around. And all of a sudden we have them getting a new perspective. Because I get something about a new perspective. This could be why you have a fork in the road. Maybe this is going to, you know, change things for you. Instead of um, being home and watching your favorite shows, you could be out with this person doing new things. Maybe they have different uh, likes than you do, you know, different hobbies. What is this, Three of Cups? Death. Okay. Chariot. And one more devil wow okay so i was thinking maybe no longer dating becoming exclusive <clears throat> someone who doesn't you know some people and it could be you libra you may be dating different people multiple people just casually to have fun you may be making a decision this week you could be going towards a capricorn um page of swords Page of coins. If it is, you guys are communicating a lot. I get like there's a sudden recognition of souls, moon, and the page of coins. It's like something you weren't expecting. It's funny because I get this feeling that you weren't expecting love. You are not um, even looking, and that's when it usually happens. But it's something like that just draws you in. A Scorpio, Cancer, Capricorn all at once. The tower. But that's what you have in the hidden position is the tower. Tower is obviously, you know, something big. It's a shakeup. It's an epiphany. It's running into your past life soulmate face to face and kind of being shocked or surprised. Knight of Cups. Okay, it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe someone with a lot of money. It's maybe someone who um, you work with or is a business person. Tell me, tell me what the Knight of Swords is for Libra. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the King of Cups. I feel like this is someone who is, um, again, coming down off their pedestal or something. I don't know, maybe, I don't know how to say that, I get what, so it sounds nice. But it's somebody who, again, like I kind of get like they are in a different world, in a different realm. They think differently. Then when they meet you, things do change suddenly because, again, we have the Page of Cups. They could be someone who all of a sudden like, they soften when they see you. They want to give to you. They're very loving and adoring, whether, you know, uh, man or woman, doesn't matter. Uh, this person may be kind of very fast, moving, night of swords, moving fast. Maybe they want to sweep you off your feet. Maybe they don't want other people to date you suddenly, but I don't get that in a bad way. They could be obsessed with you. Page of swords and the devil could be a little obsessed. This may be something you're not used to. Maybe you're the center of their world or center of their attention. They're always, you know... This might be a little bit much for you. I don't know because it kind of feels like they may uh, want to spend a lot of time with you or money maybe. But again, Taurus had kind of a weird reading. It wasn't really weird. But I was saying about them, person that they meet could have a lot of money and be very, you know, want to share that wealth. So maybe it's an earth sign thing. I wouldn't be surprised if you have two, two people. You may not think you have them now. Maybe this isn't even like in your thoughts. You don't have anyone. But that card said fork in the road. And there was a decision to be made. And we have two kings here. And yes, I could read them possibly as the same person. An earth with water or water with earth or something. But at the same time, you could have someone from the past come back. Or maybe both of these people are new. Maybe some of you are online dating. And all of a sudden you have two great choices. And... Then you have two people maybe vying for your attention. I mean, anything is possible. Maybe you've always wanted to be center of attention, but you've never kind of let yourself with that authentic self, uh, that many masks card. Moon, new beginning, and it says possibly for union. So I'm telling you guys right now, you guys have possibility for something new coming in here. What does Libra need to know here at the end of the year? Okay, one of them might be a narcissist. Love bombing, self-absorbed, or one-sided. 
So again, this is a good time to listen to your intuition. Which one feels like maybe this King of Cups is just trying to buy your love. Maybe this King of Coins is the one because they have the two of cups with them in the Knight of Cups. Maybe this is someone new who bursts on the scene and, um, you know, there's a lot of romance there. You feel like you're really loved by this person. So be, I don't want to say be careful, but I guess just listen to your intuition. If you feel one person is off, then trust your gut. Someone is very strongly attracted to you as well. Someone is dreaming about you. Someone may want a new start or a fresh start. Someone may have many options. Someone may have treated you as an option. Someone may be a twin flame. Someone may have a lot of money. But it's all in divine timing. Oh my gosh, is this a test? Ship. Because I got when I was saying that, because I do a lot of personal readings where like twin flames come back around and it's the same deal. They they disappear sometimes for years at a time, then they show back up. It, maybe it's just a text, then they disappear and they show back up. And I like if this is what's happening, if you have a past person who's coming back after a couple years and they keep doing the same thing to you, do not go back to that person because I think spirit universe is going to give you someone new and test you. Do you want the newer choice? The better choice, the person who loves you and I'm kind of getting, you might not have, whenever they get into the king of pentacles, I'm going to be honest with you, sometimes it's not, it's someone who's not as sexy as the other options and maybe you might even find them boring, okay, not the nurse sign or boring, just the card, it, it's, I've noticed that in readings and it's kind of like, well, you know, the one who's not, you know, super sexy and driving the Harley with the muscles and, you know, cut off shorts whatever um, you know it's it's the other one the one that has the button-down sweater and the one who you know wears the loafers or whatever they're the ones that's actually sexy and they're the one that really loves you and will be there for you and be loyal um, so it could be a test this one could be a smooth talker sometimes the king of cups is just a smooth talker they know how to manipulate they want to buy love this may be someone who wants to buy your love and you know who knows where that's gonna go so no wonder you could have a Capricorn and a Scorpio you're choosing from. So again, and this could be masculine or feminine, and it could be any sign. So like two people could be vying for your attention. What does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know? Keep an open mind, Libra. That's important. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Okay. All right, just don't jump to conclusions. Sometimes first dates don't go well. Sometimes you need to uh, you warm up here. You need to get to know them. You may think, oh my gosh, this person is not my type. They're boring. They're this, they're that. Give them a chance. Be open. Notice on this card, there's one guy. There's two girls here. Um, so again, it, it could be, you know, either way. It could be a same-sex relationship, of course. So Express your love. It says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Attraction. Take care of yourself. Enjoy this moment fully as attracting romantic love. And you do deserve love. You deserve the person who's going to treat you well and not just treat you like an option. Okay. So again, you will have an, a choice. That could be one of them. One person treats you like an option. The other one's going to treat you like gold. All right. So I'm going to leave it there, Libra. Have a great week.